Hey y'all, Matt here with Bob Hat Bonsai and my little Japanese maple. And today we are going to add a little bit more movement into this Japanese maple as it's growing. So let's throw some wire on and get right to it. All right, so if we look real closely, we see our little uh, pine or cedar friend growing there. I love these little bonus trees that always pop up inside my, uh... oh my gosh, brain fart, inside my planters. I let them grow and then I'll just pull it out later at another time whenever we go to repot. So, right now we have nice movement that's running here and it's actually running, if you look, let me bring it closer here. We have some nice movement running all the way up and around. It's got a nice spiral there, right? And that's great. But, let me grab some. Okay, so this wire right here, which is about half mil, should be pretty good for what we're doing. Let me bring you out a little bit. There we go. Should be pretty good for what we're doing today. I don't see. Uh, we might need something a little bit thicker for down in here. To bring this one across and get that one's little zoomy going so let's check this one out right here yeah that one will be perfect all right so all i'm going to do really is i'm going to start to wind from here and i'm just bringing it around just real carefully here and i'm only going to bring it to about right there because at that point right there, we are actually now in a spot where I should be able to use an even thinner wire. But maybe not, so we'll run it just a little bit further. All right. Sorry about that, I put my hand right in front of you on that one. So now we're just gonna come in here yeah, we barely need any wire at all in this. Come here, just throw a quick little wire. All right. Then we'll cut it to about right there. We'll cut off anything that we don't need. And we're just going to continue this one around. It's basically right in here so if we want to get any more movement up in this area we can so now we got rid of that all right so we're gonna come from back in here again and continue this beautiful big old wrap here and then I'm gonna cut this one pretty long here because at this point we're now coming around And we're going to begin to grab up on here, trying to avoid everywhere there's these little white spots as a set of buds. So we're trying to avoid hitting those buds. Now, the reason for this branch is more or less just growing out to get thick. Um, and then we're going to have to take it down a lot lower because the spacing is just huge between there. And we don't want that. So... That's what we're doing with this one. So we have this nice curve here. And I'm just gonna take, and I'm actually gonna pull out some of the curve. All right. So we're pulling out some of the curve to begin to get a little bit more of a climb going. I'm just going to take that one down a little bit that way. And this one I'm going to continue its growth upwards in that way. All right. So now we took it out of that spiral that it had going and kind of gave it its own little its own little path to keep going with. So we're just going to take this this long little guy in the back here and we're going to send this in its own little spiral going upwards. 
let it continue to grow but grow in a goofy little spiral shape here Nope, it popped off there. Let's get that back around. Oh, there we go. So, that's what's going on with that one right there. We want to stay back that way because we want it out of the way of where it's actually growing. So basically, the tree in itself... is this little bit right here. Sorry, I'm trying to hide that back branch. And it's growing out nicely. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a bit short, but that's all I had planned for this one. Just a short little video. So, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed my content, subscribe to my channel. And if you really, really enjoy my content, you should hit the bell notification so you get notified every time I release a new video. Thank you.